We're out here at the Good Earth Garden Center. This time we're going to be talking about home gardening. Of course, I've got Greg Curtis here to talk all about it. And Good you morning. were talking to me about there being a really big spike uh, here lately. People wanting to do this at home. It is, they have, you know, over the past couple of weeks, it's been amazing to see the spike in it. We've already sold as many vegetables now as we did all of last year. Wow. And we want to talk about this morning, though, it's not just going to be a fad, I hope. I hope we've got some new gardeners out there, mm -hmm. especially vegetable gardeners. So we're going to talk a little bit more this morning, just a couple ways you can have a good win. Okay. Number one, let's start with tomatoes. Okay. There's a couple things that's known as determinant and indeterminate. Mm -hmm. And the customers are asking, what does that mean? Determinant means when the fruit ripens, it's all going to ripen within a two to three week period. Okay. So once you plant it, see if it's determinate. After it ripens, though, you can pull that plant out mm -hmm. and start over again. Really? Okay. Indeterminate. It's going to have a longer season, so you'll mm -hmm. get some summer, late summer, and, and, and so on. Also, when the nights start to hit the 70s consistently, okay. you want to use this product here for your tomatoes and your peppers. Okay. What it does, you'll spray it on the blooms. It'll help the bloom set. When it's hot like that, for some reason, the plant just won't set as many blooms. Okay. Also, but the rain will be getting. It'll be stopping pretty soon. Yeah. If the Hopefully. tomato starts to look a little bit like that on the bottom, this is calcium. Mm -hmm. You'll just spray it, and it helps stop it. So it's, it immediately gets into the plant. Gotcha. Okay. And then for planting, I'm going to let you show. Again, I do this one a lot all the time, and people just look at me. What you'll want to do, you and I talked about that. What do you want to do, Hayden, when you plant this? You're going to want to take off some of these smaller ones here and only plant from here yeah, down, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. See, this is what scares me though. You you say just take those off like that and it just seems like that's go. not what I'm supposed to do. Now I take this one off yeah, too? Yeah, go ahead and take it off. Okay, so just leaving that top part. There you go. All right. It's a lot easier yeah. with a pair of scissors, yes. which I didn't have for you this morning, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you'll plant it up to keep on going up. Right here? Right there. Right there? Right there. Wow. And one of the things you want to do, even if you have a good soil in your garden, we recommend amending it with a good lightweight mix like we make for the, you know, for our bedding plants. Okay. And for our, t and our uh, perennials. Mm -hmm. And then put a little jump start in there. Okay. Man, you're set. Just enjoy, and in about 45 days, you're going to have tomatoes. All right. I'm looking forward to this, and I will try this at home, and hopefully you are as well, with all those new home gardeners out there. All right, that's going to do it for us for this segment, but stick around. we got much more.